Well, here we are in the valley of Glenmalure, in the heart of Barnes country, amidst some of the most spectacular scenery to be seen in the county. But its rugged terrain has also meant that it has been a safe haven for rebels and outlaws down through the centuries. This is Rebel Rock, erected to the memory of two of Glenmalure's most famous rebel sons, Michael Dwyer and Fiat McHugh O'Barn. Ballinacor, Glenmalure, is perhaps best known today for its associations with Fiat McHugh O'Barn. It was in the Glen that he had his famous victory over Lord Grey's army in 1580, and in the Glen that he was eventually hunted down by the Lord Deputy Russell's army and killed in 1597. Fiat was elected in 1579 to succeed his father, Hugh O'Barn as chief of the Renless section of the family. It was over this hill that Lord Grey hoped to flush Fiat MacHugh O'Barn out of the Glen. And it is just down below here, from this point, that the battle took place. It was into this valley from the slopes behind that the shrieking clansmen, led by the bagpipes, descended on their unwitting victims who were clad in red and blue. Easy to pick out, pick out in a battle. The battle was over in half an hour. And Fiat felt strong enough in his position here in the Glen to make attacks on the pale at the area surrounding Dublin under English administration. Over these hills, the O'Barns attacked Ratcool, Tala, Clondalkin, and many other of the outlying outposts that were built to protect the Pale. Another famous event in Denvalore was the escape from Dublin Castle in 1592 of Arthur O'Neill, Hugh O'Donnell and O'Hagan. They were making their way from Dublin through the mountains of Wicklow to get safe refuge in Glenmalure. They crossed over this mountain Art O'Neill unfortunately died of frostbite at Christmas time, 1592, and a cross is erected up there above the brow of the hill dedicated to his memory. Hugh O'Donnell and O'Hagan recuperated at Ballinacor, and O'Barn sent a number of men to safeguard their journey back to Donegal, where he became the O'Donnell. The Barns of Donegal received Ratan O'Barn Island as part of the thank you for having brought O'Donnell back to Donegal.